Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today we're back. I'm gonna give you the update on the swing trades that I picked in July. Uh, the top three swing trades. We're gonna see how did they actually perform. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the video to see how much percentage we would have gained in or lost now that we're checking back in on it based off the RSI indicator. But before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Really helps the channel out a lot. And go ahead and subscribe. But let's get into it. Woo! All right, YouTube. So, uh... We're back and uh, I'm using the Think or Swim platform. It's through TD Ameritrade. Um, I do use Robinhood to uh, buy and sell all my stocks because it's, it's, it's free and I don't do large quantity like 10,000 shares at a time. I might do, I might only afford four or five shares at a time. So using Robinhood is commission free uh, app. The link will be down in the description. Uh, very simple to use, but the platform that shows every indicator possible is the Think or Swim platform. It's completely free. All you have to do is sign up with an account with TD Ameritrade and then download the uh, Think or Swim platform. If we go over to my um, YouTube video I did right a while back, it's called Top Three Swing Trade Ideas for J July 2019. Now, I published it. Well, right before July hit on June 30th, so when the market was closed on that Sunday. And um, if you haven't seen that video, uh, all my markings are still here. Everything I drew up, the resistance and the supports is still here on the Think of Swim platform. So now we can go back and see how true did it hold to, uh, to the markings that I drew up. So let's zoom in a little bit. If we go back to right before July, so like the end of June, uh, and that would be right here, July 1st is right here, 7, 7, 1 right there. All right, so right in here is when I made the video. I said that down here it shows that the RSI indicator was that it was oversold and it was time for uh, it to have a little bounce back right off of this 180 day simple moving average SMA. So um, if we would have took that trade right here, I told you guys to buy right when the uh, MACD's cross and I will go over what a MACD is in a future video and if you, you would have took the trade and I said the support was right here all these lines are the exact same on the video so I didn't move any of these lines at all if you don't believe me go check out the other video and while you at the other video hit that thumbs up button on that one too but if you have, we took this trade right here bam and shout out to the last resistance line that I had drew which was at $120 we would have had a profit of, um, what is that, 4.85% on PYPL. This is PayPal, okay? So if we would have took that trade, we would have had a profit of 4.85% if we would have bought um, on the 1st of July. And so right when I told you that it was going to hit a little resistance and it held true, and actually, since um, the other day the news came out with China, now it's back to being oversold. It's super, super oversold, and right now it's playing true to this old support. And so PayPal might be another great buy for, what is this, August? Yes, yeah, so if we look at the support line that I drew right here, uh, that's one support right there. It touches, it come down and touches again and come down and touches for the third time. So it's looking like that's going to be a support. And if you buy this, you can ride it all the way back up to its last resistance. So that's a profit of around 10 to 12%. So actually, PayPal is looking like another good swing trade for August, okay? But uh, with everything going on in the news, make... Uh, I would kind of wait and make sure that it's on its way back up before I, you jump into anything new. Um, the other stock that I had picked for July was M Macy's. So let's take a look at Macy's. Um, back at 7-1, where did I draw the line? Bam, 7-1. I said, um, for Macy's, I, I think I remember saying that wait until um on the 180 day simple moving average wait until macy's four hour chart one of the bars close above the sma wait till one of the bars close above the sma because it's been 
It's been saying true that the SMA has been a resistance. Bam, it tried to uh, break above, it didn't. Tried to break above, it didn't. Tried to break above, it didn't. Tried to break above, it didn't. I said once it do break above and closes above, then you can make a trade, all right? So closes above for seven one right here. Came back, didn't buy in yet. Nope, nope, not yet. Right there, bam, we would've took a trade somewhere around it clock, nah, they didn't, they didn't really close right there. We would bam, right there, right? Somewhere around there, we took the trade, and I drew this as the old resistance a long time ago, but the resistance would have moved along the way. But even so, we would have took this trade, would have had a profit if we were closed out at the uh, the old resistance that I drew on the day that I posted this video, would have had a profit of 3.19% always take profit guys always take profit and it would have went if you would helped on to it you know we went down from the other rope cluster and now the old the old resistance is now it's new support go take a look at that video and we would have went all the way up to uh 23 dollars and 38 cents and that would have been a profit of 7.33 percent but i'm not that good of a trader i can't predict that far but i did say that this line right here was gonna be a good uh, take profit line right there. So we're just gonna be modest and say we had a profit of 3.19%. And then the last um, trade that I said for July was Shopify, okay? Shopify, so S-H-O-P, and there go all the lines that I drew up. Uh, didn't mess with anything. A lot of YouTubers out there like to say, hey, I told you they like to change their lines and all this, but I actually showed you guys on that video all, all these YouTubers there, they're up there drawing lines in the um, in the past and say, oh yeah, you should have took the trade there and so there, you should have took, no, I've drawn these lines actually here and then we're coming back to them just to see how they would have did. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in back to 7-1 right around here. It's been in this channel for a while, bam, right there is when I posted the video on Sunday, market close, everyone is open. And I said um, <laughs> that you guys could have actually rolled this wave all the way to the top, that um, this would be the old supports, new resistance. If it breaks above this, hold on to it. So it actually went all the way up to this old resistance right here. So you guys would have took the trade right here on 7-1. And then roll it all the way up to the resistance line that I had you right there. And you would have took profit with a, a profit of 11.61%. 11.61%. Alright, so all these trades end up being profitable for July, the top three picks that I uh, did. If you want to know how I picked these picks, I picked these picks because of this little indicator right here, the RSI indicator. It indicates whether the, the stock is overvalued or undervalued, or if it's overbought or oversold, okay? So when the RSI is down here below the 30 in blue, that means it is oversold and it's actually undervalued and it might be a good time to go in because price usually uh, goes back up once it's oversold. And once it's overbought, it'll be above the 70. And let me get rid of this one. Above the 70, and it'll be red, saying that it's over, it's overpriced actually, and it kind of have a little sell-off. So bam. So if we want to calculate exactly how much profit we would have made uh, swing trading these three in July alone, and taking profits when we needed to take profits, and not hoping and wishing that it went higher. For PayPal, we would have 4.85%. Uh, for Macy's, we'd have had 3.19%, and for Shopify, we'd have had 11.61%. For a grand total of 19.65%, 19 grand total swing trade for the month of July. If you ask me, that's not too bad. I'm going to do a complete tutorial on how exactly to use the RSI indicator. Um, you can't really take a good look at it on Robinhood. So there is an app for TD Ameritrade. I mean, there is an app for Thinkorswim that you can download on your phone that you can 
pair with uh, Robinhood because I do use Robinhood to trade. I think on TD Ameritrade, they charge a, a small commission. That's why I use Robinhood because I don't have tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm trading with a small account right now. So actually, I get my next $200 to invest into Robinhood on the 15th. And then I'm going to go ahead and instead of investing those $200 into um, dividends, we're actually going to do a swing trade challenge and actually take the, and take the trades that I set up based off the RSI indicator alone. No other indicators at all, just the RSI indicator alone. We're just going to use that one, supports and resistance and see if we could grow our account just like I did in July. So July was a little practice, a little tune up. If you guys took the trade, congratulations, you made money. So uh, look forward to another video in August on me doing a swing trade based off the RSI indicator. If you wanna tune in to that, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that me and you can have this journey along with each other. But yeah, guys, other than that, this is your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner. Hit the thumbs up button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. Peace.